i ajte ka lačo. Bye, your sweet princess Silke. Ciao, 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 ciao. Why do you like to say ciao, princess? I like to say ciao, not because it reminds me of German cheese, not at all. Quite the opposite. Ciao, Italian. I don't know, it's informal. It can be hello, it can be goodbye, it can be lots of things. I like it plenty. That's why I am your sweet, silky, smooth, soft, princess Ilka. Sharing my wisdom and my generosity here on my Atacolacho with you. How much money do you need? And how much more would you like to have? And if I give you all the money in the world, piles and piles, what would you do with it? But if I don't give you money, why would you not be able to do the same? Just do it. In my picture book today, in my Atacolacho, one after another of those videos will bring you the entire story. And yes, I am following up from the Atacolacho from two days ago. In Siemens, that's like a multinational, transnational, large, um, you know, company, the boss and the boss, that was Kunit. And he was like the boss and the boss. And he had, of course, the large car and he had also a good house. Not the largest though. He had a, a house which the company would of course rent for him in La Eradura, which is okay. Maggie, she had a house in Lomas. I don't know, Lomas the Reformer, I forgot the name. That was Deluxe. But she was CEO of Gamesa, she was not the director of something. And Gamesa is not a German company. So, Kunit. Now he was the boss, and whatever he did is supposed to be deluxe. The restaurant he ate in, for example. <clears throat> I don't know, he could eat anywhere he wanted, but often he went to the same. i never been there. I don't think it's more elegant than other restaurants I went with, Alik or other people. But my point here, the issue is this, that on vacation he liked to go to Acapulco. Because Acapulco is simple and easy, it's the closest from Mexico City. I th maybe he had children too, I don't know. Well, he was the boss, but he still had a salary. Meaning, he still had limited in income. He was super stingy. He was stingy because he was intending to make advantage and gain an extra penny every time. He would trouble. No, I'm being deviated from the subject. He would travel to Europe three times a year and to South America also. But everything what he would spend, I mean, from the coffee in the airport to the newspaper, to the hotel room, to the taxi, to whatever not, everything would be paid as an expense of a trip from the company. So every time he came back from travel, he threw on my desk like a bag full of receipts. And those would come in German marks and Spanish pesetas. Yeah, that was pre-Euro. In Argentina pesos. Yeah, whatever that was. So I had to make the conversion of each of those receipts in, in the money from where it hence came from to the Mexican peso where he was working. But every day the exchange rate would fluctuate would vary that means 
if he, I did all what I had to do, and then he wasn't really able to deliver his report and his receipts to the department of the company and would wait until the next day. He would return it to me and would say, well, now the exchange rate changed. So, okay, you got to do that again. And I literally had to do that again. Do you know how many receipts are this? Just so because now he would have three cents more. Cents. He would fight for a cent. I'm not really sure. Eventually I had to put my logic into it. Because in the beginning, I think I made it individually. Makes no sense. Because I had to bring the intellect to earth. Remember? I'm intelligent, but I had to bring it to earth. Because maybe I conglomerated it by city. There is the one from Paris, the one from Frankfurt, the one from Madrid. Now we're talking three different countries with three different monies. Maybe I did it different. Maybe I put it, yeah, everything what's peseta is in here and everything it's in there. I had to put it all together, but maybe I had to write the individual. Yeah, I had to write the individual amount on each of those. That's a tremendous amount of work. I'm not angry about it. I was just looking, he's stingy. Because it would not make a large difference, that's my point. Doing it again the next day because the exchange rate had changed. Anyhow, so he was looking at that he would not spend too much money, but still he was in the deluxe version of life. So he would go to Acapulco often, a few times a year, with his family or his wife, I don't know. I didn't ask. I don't even know. I think they had children, but I don't know. I wasn't familiar with him. I met his wife once because she came to the office and she asked me if I could take care of her house while they were traveling now together. So she gave me the key of her house. So they ordered me to go with the chauffeur in Kinnit's car. Yeah, his Grand Marquis. So I would do that. I would go with the chauffeur who knew where he lived, of course, because the chauffeur had to pick him up every day and deliver him back to his house. So I would go with the chauffeur to Kunit's house, I would walk through it, would check on it, and then I would walk back out. I would not set foot in any of the rooms, ever, because it's not on my pertinence, it doesn't belong to me. Although I was given the house key to check on the house, I would open the house. No, the chauffeur was, of course, outside. The chauffeur wasn't invited to go. The chauffeur is the chauffeur and he sits in the car and stays there. I would go in the house. I would look. I remember it opens to the living room, which is large. Yeah, not too large, but yeah. I don't remember. Maybe I opened the doors, the bedroom, just in case, you know, just to see if it's all good. But I would not step foot in it because I wasn't making a real tour agent inspection of if I like or don't like or if the bathroom is nice or not. I was taking care of a job and I am respectful and that's what it means too, to be respectful. We gotta be respectful with each other. No, people walk into my homes. They have no, they, they have absolutely no regard. How can they possibly even show me proudly how they were in and out? And they think, it's okay, you perish outdoors, but I'm in your space, yeah? And they're proud, because they're all shits, that's what they are, little demeaning motherfuckers. Insecure little shits. Put their tail between their legs, because they don't have balls, I gave them up a long time ago. And they think now, oh, being to the fascists, to the Nazis, is going to be a good thing. Because the Nazis did exactly that. Gave orders to the Germans to go now invade the other people's homes kick them out, take their stuff. And that was all right. So those are all fascists here. Yeah. Fascists are just people who have no balls. Get it? And they exercise brutality and violence over other people. So they're out. Can't even negotiate with those because they're not honest. They have to lie and to cheat because otherwise how could they possibly acknowledge that they are disturbing. For saying the least, they are thieves and murderers because they don't take into account another person, a human being. Because they don't have any logic in their brains either. How does that make any logical sense? Whatever that is they're doing.
None. So Cunard, oh, he had a house in a good place. Oh, it's a good place. Modern. Not the old money, new money, and not that large as in the old money, but it was good. La Herradura, yes. So when he would go to, to vacation, what? I don't know if he... I could have engaged with the son. Are you joking? I don't like Cunard. Because he's a little bureaucrat, no matter if he's tall and... He's a bureaucrat. He is not generous. Now his wife looked like a typical German with short hair and not sexy. <laughs> wow, that's German, right? I don't like it. Yeah, I like my mother, my stepmother. So, again, I'm being distracted yet. Yeah, now I'm being held up to say more things. Kynet would go to Acapulco often, and he would always go to that one hotel. Maybe because I was the one who had made to make those res reservations. Yeah, I know, I know the airport codes because I've made all these reservations. Yeah, 8 a.m. is airport code for Hamburg. Yeah, the shit's running right in front of me. He's got a t-shirt of Nahayoto on, so does she. <laughs> this is Tepito assaults, that's what they do. Yeah, I can see how they walk, just like the other ass liquor. Oh, put up his ass. Fuck me, but don't leave me. <laughs> oh my god, am I entertaining you? Is anybody who laughs about this? You all are. Okay, good. Oh, as I spoke, right in front of my eyes. Yikes. Three people walking out and in, and then standing in front of my, you know, me and talking very loud, like this is cool. It's completely obnoxious. Okay, if I had any doubt and I would be in their position, I mean, first and foremost, why? I mean, okay, let's say I don't have brains. That's like the last moment. You come out of a place, you see Princess here and say, why don't you come in and use the commodities for a moment as we are here all? That, that is what I would say. I don't know if there is a bathtub in there. Or something because it, why don't you do it you say get it but they don't think about it because they fart and poop on me they don't give a rat's ass about me they like to shit on top of me all right back to Kunit. <laughs> so Kunit would go always to the same hotel and what this hotel had this hotel had terraces individual terraces all of it, you could see it from, from afar, the picture like promoting that hotel, you could see it. And what, the airport codes? Seriously, <laughs> okay. I know the airport codes because I made all these reservations for him. FFM is Frankfurt, which is the Western Frankfurt. MAD is from Madrid, PAR is Paris, get it? I had to make all these reservations for him. So <laughs> again, he will go to Acapulco. And he would rent one of those suites, suites, to overlook the ocean. And I'm not sure, did each of those rooms had also a tiny swimming pool? That is my point right now. Each of the suites had a swimming pool. So he would be private, that's what I remember from that spot. Private with his family. Isn't that a wonderful thing? So, and since we're talking, how much money do you need? Why would you not have that? Private, if you want. So